Hey there! Yeah, I'm on a video marathon today! Sort of, not quite. Um, one of my subscribers, um, uh, was, yeah, his name is Asa, with the username Yasai Sony. Yeah, you. <laughs> uh, he told me that I often put videos on YouTube talking about the things I hated, talking about the things I didn't like, and you know, he told me, yo, why don't you talk about things that you like, and thanks for reminding me, Asa, uh, cause I do tend to get pretty bitchy on YouTube sometimes, you know, cause it's my channel, I do what I like. <laughs> so, I'm just gonna talk about the YouTube people that I really like, and I'll try to give publicity to those who are not so famous. Of course, some of them are really famous, but let me just start up for vlogs uh, there's this guy his username is KRC588 um, I knew him from a really not knew him I mean I heard about him subscribed to him a really long time ago he got featured I mean those were the days when YouTube would feature as normal people instead of TV shows and all that and he he's just really funny he's got these early videos that are really funny his recent ones I think he's busy because he's like moving and showing him moving stuff but his early videos they're just really funny I think you should check them out and um, he's from Canada and he's colorblind and he's really proud to say it I don't know check him out and next one I'm gonna talk about is I bumped into him through some other YouTuber. His username is random tree seven 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 and he's really new. He's got less subscribers than me, amazingly. <laughs> Sorry. He's got like hundred of subscri subscribers, but he is really funny. He's really, really funny and really mature for a fifteen year old guy. I mean, if I didn't say he was fifteen years old and you look at his video you would think that he's some college student because he's got these like perspective videos that just like wow 15 year old can think about that that's really cool and he's got some funny spoofs I don't know something about Febreze commercial spoof and he's just a really nice guy he he doesn't spam me or anything like that just really naturally sincere guy and Next one is, um, he's not very famous actually, uh, I saw him because Ben Loka was having this answer question session on the couch and this guy asked a question and he became famous after. <laughs> His nickname is Spoon. I think there are four P's and five O's or something like that. Uh, but his videos are just not the usual kind. They're a bit quirky and there's not many of them and I think he hasn't been uploading some. But, um, check out his videos, I hope that he puts up new ones, um, he's really funny too. Next one is, um, this kid, his name is Sung Ha Jung, and he's a music prodigy. The username is JWC Free, and this kid is really, really talented, I mean, he's really good at playing the guitar, I think he's only like 10 years old. He can play like a lot of songs at very high difficulty. And my friend told me about this kid when we were studying for our exams. You know when you study, you want to listen to music, but the lyrics kind of mess up what you're reading. So listening to him play classics and Mission Impossible theme song, all these sort of things, it was just really relaxing. And I hope that he becomes famous someday, because he's really good. The next people I'm going to talk about, they're about makeup. So, first one is this Japanese lady. Her username is Man Woman Film. Uh, she's a really unconventional makeup artist. She's not really a makeup artist. She's a normal person. She says she's a normal person. But the way she does her makeup is really artistic. Like, how to have Halloween costume, how to, um, I don't know, make yourself look like a plant, but in a really classy way. Like, there's a video where she stuck like rose petals all around her eye and the other side was just plain so she looks like a rose which is really cool it's really cool she doesn't talk in her videos I think it's because you know she's Japanese she'd rather type it out and show it to you and at the beginning and, and the end of the video she'll do a little dance like pole dance or something I don't know it's really weird but 
she's really nice she replies to like all the comments she gets she's really really nice and really talented so check out her videos and the next uh, person I'm gonna talk about is Goss makeup artist his name is Wayne Goss and to me this guy is like the James Bond of makeup because when I first saw him I I thought, oh my god, he reminds me of Daniel Craig because of the way he looks. <laughs> I don't know, I'm sorry. And he's from UK, so there's the connection there. And he's a really no-nonsense kind of guy. He, If he doesn't like something, he'll just say it straight. Yeah, so that part reminds me of the James Bond thing. And <laughs> I don't know. I'm just imagining like a James Bond spoof in my mind with, with Wayne Goss, like killing all the ladies with his makeup skills. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm just joking. And he's a self-confessed shy person who wears a wedding ring even though he's not married and refuses to answer the question whether he's gay or not. Uh, I think it's so that because all the women and gay men will continue to fantasize about him because he's really hot. <laughs> okay, and he is really sincere, you know, he doesn't try to push products at your face because he just sincerely wants to help people and he's got really great no-nonsense makeup tips and you get tired of those makeup videos that are like 10 minutes long, his or not and he's just a really nice person, don't worry he may be like James Bond on makeup but he won't kill you he's too nice <laughs> If you're watching this, Wayne, I just think very highly of you. Please don't be offended. <laughs> okay, next person I'm gonna talk about is actually really famous. He's encore makeup, but this guy is like the genius of makeup. I say genius because after I saw his videos, I learned so much. Like a lot. He's got like 100 over videos. And they're just things that I've never thought of before. Like how to make eyelashes out of feathers, how to create a stencil for your eyeshadow so that you don't have to apply meticulously. Just put a plastic on and just rub it on your eye, saves time, and he's so creative, so talented. And of course the rest that I do like are Gregory Gorgeous and William Sled, but you know, they're already famous. Oh, I think I forgot to mention... Um, James Ington the third. Uh, he started out later than me, but he's already got more subscribers than me, so I'm not subscribing to him. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just joking. Um, he's got a lot of videos, but he doesn't spam me, and he's you no know, nice guy. So check out his videos. He just does really random stuff. I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to describe it, but these are the YouTubers that I really like. Actually, I like a lot, but I'm trying to give publicity to those that are not so famous. Yeah, I hope you enjoy, and I'm gonna cut this video short before it exceeds the time. See ya.